One of the functions that I use the most in Revit is activate views once they've been placed onto a sheet. Now the process of activating the view is to zoom in on the view you want to be able to make a change to, clicking when that box shows up around the view, and it'll show up whenever you highlight over that view. When you do that, there'll be an option that says Activate View. Select on Activate View, and you'll notice that everything that's not directly in that view becomes grayed out. And from here, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can select on different things, and you can make changes directly to your model while you're in the sheet. So as a result of that, if you have a very tight sheet with lots of details all crammed around the view that you're currently working in, you'll know that you can draw your dimensions up to a certain point, put your text out to a certain point before crossing over all those other details. You'll know that you have your arrangement so that it reads correctly and appropriately on your sheet. Then whenever you've finished detailing it out, making the changes that you want to do, you then need to deactivate the view to go back to your sheet. To accomplish that, the easiest way is to just right click and there'll be an option there that says deactivate view. As soon as you do that, you'll notice that everything is no longer grayed out and you can then move over and then activate another view, such as select on the view, activate the view, make any changes that you need to the view, then right click and deactivate view. So by accomplishing this, you can make changes directly on the sheet and see the relationships of all these changes that you're making to all the other views that are currently placed on the sheet.